Coverage straight from the heart. This is 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jamie Robb. This is Eyewitness News at 6 for Sunday, August 29th. It's been 13 years since Hollywood turned a single street in Juliet into a major movie. Now, a producer from Atlanta says he's making a documentary on how the town, with all its fame, is still the same. Candace Raymond takes you behind the scenes to show you what one movie maker has in mind. You can still hear the sweet sound of old times in Juliet. The train happens to still be here. But things have changed in the last 13 years when the movie Fried Green Tomatoes introduced the whole world to this old mill town. And where else can you go? particularly anywhere in central Georgia, and sit on that porch and have conversation with people from all over the world. South Australia. This time it's not France. tomatoes, but tomorrows, putting the town on the big screen. It must have been uh, destiny, because I just happened to wander into town with a friend, and uh, I noticed that the town still looked exactly like the movie. Right now, it's uh, it's kind of like a Mayberry in that it's still, still is small, it's still quaint. Calibro says in 1991, Juliet's population was four. Now more than 500 people visit each week. The most popular, of course, is the Whistle Stop Cafe. The movie put Juliet on the map and business owners here say they hope the documentary will be a sequel to the town's success. Uh, I don't believe Universal Studios really understands the impact that uh, Fried Green Tomatoes has had, not only here, but all over the world. Uh, it doesn't age in the sense of changing like some other tourist uh, places. Which, and I thought, you know, one day this may change. It may change. And it's that small town atmosphere Juliet still enjoys that Calibro wants to put on film. Candace Raymond, 13 WMAZ, Eyewitness News. Calibro plans on releasing the documentary next year.